We are already, we are already in it, folks. Oh, the segment started during the commercial break. Oh, I'm sorry. It is possibly, <laughs> possibly one of the best days ever on this show because we are celebrating National Pasta Day. Maron. Wow, All right, there we go. Why. There we go. The origins of the world's favorite pasta dishes, not pasta, but the pasta dishes, has been traced back to its Italian roots and sees about 3.5 tons of pasta produced each year just from the motherland. That's alone. it? From Italia. That's it? That's it? You thought it was more? Oh. Ah. I think it's more too. And with yeah. over 350 types, the possibilities, again with that pun, are endless when it comes to whipping up a hearty meal. Oh my gosh, we already have two it is hearty meals getting, getting, getting judged as we speak. Joining us this morning with oodles and oodles of noodle goodness yeah. is executive chef of Il Molino, New York, Michele Mazza. Welcome to New York Living. Buongiorno, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Michele, piacere. Come stai? Piacere, come stai? Come stai? Va, bene. Va bene. Obrigado, gracias. Mucho, mucho now, we're gracias. Speaking, <laughs> now we're speaking. Now we're speaking Portuguese. Okay, Portuguese. Okay, we're all over the place here. Chef. Fala Portuguese. Ah, oh, I don't follow look at this. Oh, God, now, now I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. First of all, we need to know. In your expert so, opinion, your favorite, what is your favorite type of pasta to cook with? I like all fresh pasta. All like fresh pasta. As long as it's the, fresh. The bucatini, you know, with the trafila pasta. Look at this, it's Also, we have the rigatoni, it's very, oh, very th good. Those are my two favorite, rigatoni and bucatini. It's like he knew. He knew. I did like but a But wait a minute, here. where did you grow up? I grew up in Italy. Which Loretta region? Loretta Nassai in Naples. Okay. okay. It's called Torre de Grego, right underneath the Vesuvio Mount. Oh, so, sure. <laughs> What was your Napoli. favorite pasta growing in up? Napoli. Spaghetti pomodoro. Oh my Spaghetti God! Pomodoro. With the but clams, you, so with the clams. But you got it from the source. With the vognole, hey, you, you probably right. had the pomodoro in your yard. Correct. Oh, now wow. we make uh, il molino sauce. We make it. With this is fashioned after. Okay. Yeah. Give us some tricks. The best way to cook pasta. What is the best way to cook pasta? The best way to cook pasta. You gotta make sure you got enough salt. Salt. And the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Salt that water, people. It has to be briny like the sea. Yeah. A good quality pasta, you know? Okay. Directly from Italy, if you're if you're looking for if quality. If you can. You oh, always look at him, he's you always, his fresh, I know he's fresh got his basil. basil. And you always use fresh pasta. Correct. Okay. Do you taste the water before you put the pasta in to make sure it's salty enough? Because how do you know if it's salty enough? You yeah, you got to test the, the water. I know because I cook so many he pasta. Can, he so can look at it now. He knows he's, he's a professional, please. He's part right. of so me. these are the matriciane. I started with the uh, guanciale mm -hmm. and uh, the il molino sauce. Okay, that business. Uh, okay. This one. What's this pasta dish? Yes, we have this is going to be here. rigatoni. I'm going to use a truffle. Truffle sauce, we make it. This is a Molino recipe. Hold that up right there Hold so on people can yeah, see it. Yeah, put it right over here so we can get that on the overhead It's a truffle. Porcini mushroom way. and champagne. Oh my gosh. Truffle for smell. Oh, so. Maron, that is oh delicioso. That's, that smells so smooth that's, that and That smells delicious. rich. That's what yep. it smells So you like. have a butternut it's squash. Black. Butternut squash. You can you use any squash. And you diced it. Any you squash, squash you want. Now you're trying to tell me, I, I like the squash. I like gourds. She doesn't peeling. want to work for it. The peeling is just. You don't have to peel. The squash, the skin is very good to eat. Okay. It's a lot of vitamin C. Okay. You oh, there don't you have go. a problem. Just there. wash it. So what Just you're saying is Just wash it, roast food. it, and, and you can it. eat to the skin. And that's, that's not the pasta water. Yeah, this is the pasta <laughs> Always water. Always save the pasta water, right? That's another. That's Always. A, if very, you are not key. saving your pasta little water. Little heavy cream. Little heavy oh. cream. Listen, it never hurt nobody. No. A lot of sage. A, a lot, lot of sage. sage. Huh. And when you say a lot, you mean a lot. A lot. That's like a, a okay. full handful <laughs> right there. He's just throwing it all in. I love sage. It's Run us down what well, you had in well. there. So you had the butternut squash. Butternut squash. What truffle. Else? Truffle. A little sage, a little rosemary, not too much. Some of the, the cream. heavy cream. Butter. Touch heavy cream. The and the pasta butter. water. Butter and the pasta heavy cream. water. Okay. Yes. And you're not even chopping that that uh, that sage. You just no. put it right in there. Yes. Okay. And this is the sauce. Holy is the sauce. My mouth is watering. I have a it question. Really is. Sir, chef. Yes, yes. How do you know which pasta to put with which sauce? Like, I would never put pesto on spaghetti. Why? Oh, I don't know. It feels wrong. Yeah, because okay, you want to, when you make the sauce, you want the, the sauce and the pasta marry each other. To marry each other. Yes. All right. The spaghetti go, you know. Yeah. So what do you do with the spaghetti, pomodoro? The spaghetti pomodoro, white clam sauce. Oh my God, that's nice. I like that. 
Okay. All right. So you've got your two sauces. Yeah. This is rigatoni. The rigatoni is going in with the butternut squash. Butternut. Oh, you're okay. putting it in the in the pan. Yes. Oh my gosh. Which one are you gonna get? Uh, well, I'm, those are both for me. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what you're what you're eating today, Mari. Yeah. So sorry. And this one again is the amatriciana. Ma amatriciana. Okay. Run and us, what went into this? Yeah. One? Run us down. This the is going to be going to the cheek. Yep. That's uh, the protein. The, the fresh the molino, basil. So fresh basil oh, no, and this. molino sauce. Molino okay. sauce, fresh basil, the cheek, the protein, oh. and look at that bucatini. It wow. is stunning. It makes me want to cry. Did you put basil in here? I can't remember. Yes, yes. a little a bit of basil. Oh, yeah, okay. I put a sage, a lot of sage. You know, I love a sage in the fall. I, yes. I, a browned yes. butter. Uh, a there's sage. nothing on this table I it don't It classes like. up my joint. Yeah. Ugh. In my apartment. Now, is this something? How many? How many? How many times do you think you've made this in your oh, life? Oh, a million times. <laughs> and do you ever tire of it, or do you, do you no, still I love, love it? No, I love it. I love a cooked pasta. Yeah. So when you go home from work after you've been cooking for others all day, yeah. you're still cooking? Yeah, on Sunday. I like having Sunday my family Sunday sauce. Together. That's what I'm talking about, Marisol. If so you, know, you, you know. cook a Sunday meal at home? Yes, yes. Who comes over? Can we over? come over? Yeah, who comes yeah, over? Yeah, anytime. <laughs> who comes over? A lot of people. Who cleans up? People. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least she but could that's do. That's the rule in my house. You didn't if I anything. cook, my at, fiance has to clean. That's the end. I put a. Oh my God! What's this? The parmigiano. I put a parmigiano. And that looks like pecorino. A forty percent pecorino. Forty percent. Ay Dios mio! Which one of which one Matriciana, is your favorite here? Just pecorino. Just the pecorino, not the both. Don't no. get don't get it twisted, chef. Which one is your favorite of these two? Both. Both. He doesn't don't, have don't a favorite. Don't ask him to choose well, his favorite child. Oh, and the fresh <laughs> crack pepper. That's a hard question. That's very very important. I am in love with this Thank pasta. You. Oh, I told this well, is you too. Well, with you too, <laughs> chef. With you yes. too. We were just talking about the white noise. Yeah. This is this is the this sound that'll put me. This puts me to sleep with a smile on my face. Look at this fresh pasta. Look. Can we can we get? Oh my plates? God, Scott, get in there with that. Because it would be a sin if we did not at least try this. It's National Pasta Day. It is, yeah. like we've been saying. Here, move that over to the side. We don't need that anymore. Now, since it's National Pasta Day, will yep. Il Molino be just crowded with folks who want to celebrate, or it's always crowded? Oh, I'm shocked yeah, you were so able to get chef today I can't because even believe this is if like you Christmas. can't get in, you bring the chef to you. That's what we've done. That's right. Have is you ever done the Il Molino, New York? I have not. Me neither. No. But now look at this. Now we brought it to us. This is beautiful. And you know what else I like about this? You can make this at home. This was very quick. What do we have, like six minutes in this segment? Yeah. And, and this was five I mean, the steps. prep work is the prep work, but. Oh, you make the pasta. Anything once you have the pasta, then you do this. Look at this. And now, oh my goodness. Okay. And then I top with the, the seeds. Pepitas? Oh, look at this. <gasps> the pumpkin seeds for the season again. Can we, can we have a fork? Is there a? I'll use a ladle. Lammy. I don't care. Can we get a fork? Anything. And then, and then with a little, you make a nice like that. Oh, you look know at what? the size of these dishes. Chef too. is going to continue plating. We're going to take a quick break. Because when we come back, we have to try this, by the way. You the recipe try. to Definitely. both of these is on our website at Pix11. The Dot recipe's on the website. Wow, we are letting you in. We're letting you in on the, in on the magic. Don't, come back, because we got to taste this. Lammy is bringing us a fork. Oh, Thank you. Delish. Thank you. Oh, chef. Yep, yep. Grazie mille, chef. Do a lot.